The church, in my experience, was a place where people weren't really loved. If you loved God, it kind of meant that you weren't going to love people. If you loved people, it kind of meant that you were a little loose on the doctrine. I was sort of embarrassed of Christianity in some ways, especially around the theater community that I got to be a part of. I wanted to love people at all costs, and who cares about doctrine or dogma? You know, it's just self-evident that the church has done a terrible job of loving people in its history. It's easy to throw that out, and I definitely was doing that. I got offered a part in the Canadian Badlands Passion Play, and I played Jesus for five seasons. Something about that experience really made it difficult for me to maintain this fringy Christianity that I was slightly embarrassed about. You know, I was a Christian, but I was miserable. I'd struggled with so many aspects of Christianity, and I just, I wanted it to be good, and I wanted it to help, and I wanted it to make things better. So much of the story was not that, I felt. The most important part of my experience at Regent has been a reawakening for me. Things that were latent have now come to the surface, and I've learned and been led to a love of the Bible that I didn't have before, I wasn't really aware of. This text that from way back when speaks to me now and offers me life. All the problems, all the issues, all the confusion, all the tough bits that are hard to read, I can embrace them and own them. I'm not embarrassed by it. I didn't expect that necessarily, and I'm, I'm grateful for the gift that Regents offered me that way. I want to continue to be part of a conversation in which theology has to matter for the whole of life. <laughs>